Basically coming out of uh, pit lane, hitting the de-restriction on your pit lane speed limiter at that point, try to accelerate out of pit lane, but uh, you've got that real dip, so it can be quite challenging. It's uh, not uncommon to grab a handful of lock as, you, as you're accelerating out of pit lane there. So um, essentially the lap I'm going to take is pretty well what you would do in, in most cars. So generally you're looking to just get past this first little bump before you into the brake. Depending on, uh, maybe if you're on a qualifying lap on green sticker tyres, this will probably be fourth gear, or if you're on fuel conservation mode, you'll be fourth gear, but generally, third gear is what you're looking at. Up to fifth gear, just a light brush of the brakes to settle the car, uh, and then as we come back, we're back to second gear. Now, the gears and speeds I'm referring to are really in relation to the GT uh, SLS. So as we come up over, up the hill here, you can appreciate just how steep it is and just how little forward visibility you've got at yeah. speed. So it's really important that you get to know the circuit well and you and you get into a bit of a rhythm and it sort of automatically, it just becomes an automatic uh, action, how much steering lock you put in through the, the various areas. And again, over a little, little crest here, the car will always get a little bit light. Then coming down, here we come towards Skyline. So GT car, you're approaching here at uh, just over 200k an hour in fifth gear. Yeah. Cresting in fifth gear. Once you get onto the brakes around out here, you're back to fourth, back to third, and then uh, just a little squirt of the throttle before another brake, and back to second gear. Then obviously as soon as you can, hard back on the throttle, and rolling down the hill. Again, depending on what you're in, you might uh, grab fifth gear, uh, back to second gear for this last turn, which brings you on to uh, Connor and Straight. Really critical that you get a good run out of this turn. And then running down now. You'll see most guys will generally run, uh, they'll sort of run the centre over this crest because you'll be in sixth gear by now and just cresting the hill, you'll be a little over 200k an hour uh, and the car will be breaking into wheel spin. And uh, coming in through here, in through the chase, this is absolutely flat out, just over 280k an hour, uh, and then braking from sixth gear back to third gear for this left hand up in the chase. Picking up the throttle again, bringing us down to the last turn, which is one of the few passing opportunities on the circuit, and you'll see a lot of competition going on here. Once again, just getting to sixth gear or limiter in fifth gear before you start braking and back to second gear in a GT car. Which brings us over the control line, start finish line here. Again, just just getting to fifth gear before jumping on the brakes. A bit of a challenge, I used to use a light post there as a reference for my braking and they've changed all the light posts since last year, so <laughs> it could be uh, good to catching people out once again really important that you get good drive out of that last turn up over the crest and same as uh, on Conrod you're actually plucking six gear around about now over the crest the car will break into wheel spin uh, particularly in the wet it's it's really hairy you'll generally short shift uh, change gear before max rpm redone this full coin anyway yeah since uh since the 1000 and then uh, yeah, so now we've done the warm up there. black can we go harder <laughs> Brush of the brake. We're going to be driving to the bus up here in first gear. Yeah. <laughs> that one. Oh, it would have. It's, <laughs> it's unbelievably yes, steep, yeah. and yeah. TV just does not do the place justice yeah, no. in terms of how narrow it is, uh, how little visibility there is. You don't appreciate that even on the in car footage from, uh, from the various cars that you see. This thing's got some good grunt, though. Oh, absolutely. Over 400 kilowatt and uh, over 800 newton meters of torque with a seven speed gear. Yeah. So the thing's. It's all right, isn't it? <laughs> Particularly given that we're currently four up. Yeah. I think I just saw the club, mate. <laughs> I think I saw Greg Timms. <laughs> Once again, yeah, GT car, like 200k an hour over here. To give an idea, we crested at 130k an hour. So to have another 70 odd k yeah. an hour on board's a, a pretty wild ride, I can tell you. And every time you approach it, you've got your heart in your mouth. Yeah, no, I think so. See all the flaggies working hard, volunteering their time to sit here on uh, on the pit areas. Again, another place where you can pass, but 
very challenging and you've got to be super committed <laughs> there if, you, if you're going to get uh, it done. Yeah, that's his name. A lot of cars crazy come Crazy Kiwi loves that area. Yeah. Uh, Kisbergen. Kisbergen. Kisbergen, yeah, 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 Kisbergen too. So once again, coming down to Conrod and uh, always trying to maintain the centre line because if you crest over off centre, the car will slew sideways oh, as yeah. it breaks into wheel spin. And so you'll see everybody crest in their centre before coming over through the chase. Again, 280 odd K an hour through here and hard brakes. Quite a challenging brake zone because it starts downhill. So oh, the car yeah. never feels like it's going to slow down. And then as you come up the crest, you actually uh, come up the hill braking efficiency improves and, uh, and, and it do generally slow it down but uh, can't make mistakes so then the return to pit lane as we come in uh, this is all still full pace you can go as quickly as you like okay. through here but you can see how tight it is and catches a lot of drivers out yeah. they end up running across the grass so you can see where the 40 sign is you'll be hard on the throttle at this point um, just hitting the pit lane speed limiter uh, as, as you go through so